we're hopping right into this we're going to take that to this this is a brown tint and i'm going to start off by applying alcohol gently to both brows use a spoolie to brush out the brows as you can see I have to construct that left brow normally I would brow map this but since she's been coming to me for a while um, I know what to do with her brow I added a lightweight oil which you can order from my website you and sugaring studio it's called the moisturizing healing oil now I'm just filling in the brow with brow code. I'll list the name of the exact color in the description. gonna go through this really fast I sped it up I'm just constructing the brow as best as I can her brows are uneven but I've done her brows tons of times so I pretty much have a good idea of how to construct it if you guys want an in-depth brow mapping tutorial just let me know in the comments Using the brow scissors to trim. I ran out of eyebrow razor, so I'm using a regular razor. Uh, don't do it this fast. Definitely want to take your time because you will nick your client. Wipe off any excess brow tint with the cotton round. sure everything looks great I love this brow and again I like to tell my clients that brows aren't twins they're sisters now we're going to use the spoolie to make an ombre effect
and I'm going in with the razor on the opposite side as well as using the cotton round to wipe off any excess brow tint. Because she doesn't have any hair at the end of her brow, I'm actually just filling in the end of her brow with a darker tint so that it can last a bit longer. Now my favorite part, we're gonna highlight underneath that brow to give it a sharp pop. gonna lie this brow gave me a hard time but I'm gonna get it done look and I did this from this major difference her brows look beautiful she loved it I loved it and it's a done deal this is how you do a brow tan. 